I'm Katrina Musgrave and I work with Christian Aid in Cornwall and in Devon. It's my pleasure to be talking to you in this special period known as Thy Kingdom Come, when we join together in a wave of prayer for people to come to know Jesus Christ. And there is no better time to be praying for God to be glorified and to see his kingdom in action now than in the middle of Christian Aid Week itself. The theme of Better Together is perfectly linked to the Christian Aid Week message of global love and unity. And the fact that our faith inspires us to believe that we can bring God's kingdom into fruition now. We're all made in the image of God and we're united by our belief that we have the right to live lives free from poverty. Can I ask you just for a moment to close your eyes? Now can I ask you to think about how many times today you've already used water? In your homes, perhaps you flushed the loo, had a shower or a bath, washed your hands, filled the kettle and made a cup of tea, washed your car, washed your clothes, washed up after a meal, or perhaps used the dishwasher. Maybe you've even been lucky enough to swim in a pool, the river or the sea. All possibilities down here in Cornwall. Water is cool, refreshing, beautiful and life-giving. Life without water is pretty much unimaginable. Please feel free to open your eyes now. Now I'd like, you to ask to, I'd like to ask you to think about life in Zimbabwe, out in Southern Africa. Zimbabwe is the second worst country in the world right now for levels of drought, with erratic and unreliable rainfall leading to hardship and hunger. In rural Zimbabwe, seven out of 10 women rely on farming to earn a living and provide for their families. But with no rain, women cannot grow enough food, mothers struggle to provide for their children, and they often go hungry, skipping a meal to feed their children instead. As the climate crisis rages on, vulnerable communities in Zimbabwe face the threat of more intense droughts, floods and storms. These climate shocks will cause more and more women to, to lose their livelihoods, to have their crops damaged and to have their families pushed into unbearable hunger. This is why Christian Aid is now working alongside women such as Jessica Mwedzi out in Zimbabwe. Jessica is 36 and is married to Fanu. Together they have two boys and four girls. As a family, they're dependent on small scale farming. So when the crops fail, life is really complicated. Jessica asks friends and neighbors to help sometimes. And when there is a drought, she and her family regularly share just one bowl of porridge. Jessica says, my children crave a good meal, but I cannot provide. We often go to bed on an empty stomach. It pains me to send them to bed hungry. But Jessica will not give up. She works hard to get what she can from her farm, even though it doesn't always bear fruit. One year we had no rain. The scorching sun burnt my crops just as they were about to bloom. It was so painful and disheartening. It is unjust that drought robs Jessica of the power to provide for her own family. Her children clearly adore her, and she just wants to be able to provide. Jessica is hungry, hungry for a good meal, hungry to earn a decent living, hungry to provide a more hopeful future for her own family. And through Christian Aid's partner, a resilience building program known as BRACT, Jessica is starting to work towards a better future. Through Christian Aid, Jessica has recently received training on how to grow crops in drier conditions and to start saving for a future where she can afford fertilizers and tools and equip herself for the next climate shock. The conflict in Ukraine means that fertilizers are likely to become increasingly expensive for Christian Aid partners. Russia and Ukraine are both major producers of agricultural inputs, 
and the cost of fertilizer has soared. Ukraine typically produces 12% of the world's wheat crop. Eventually, these increased costs are going to lead to higher food prices. Although the UK is already experiencing a spike in the cost of living, imagine how much worse this would be if you were already living under the poverty line. So this is why your efforts, all of our efforts, this Christian Aid Week are even more important. The knock-on effects of the conflict will hit hard in those poorest countries who are already suffering from climate change in Zimbabwe or the hunger crisis caused by conflict in Afghanistan. And they desperately need our help through the expertise of Christian Aid partners and Christian Aid supporters such as yourself. In the months to come, the gifts that we provide this Christian Aid Week will help Jessica turn seeds into fresh food to sell to feed her family. With every gift, every action, every prayer, one of us, every one of us can change lives. And I'd like to close with words of prayer now. Let us come to the river and be like trees planted by streams of water putting our roots down deep into God's word, bearing good fruit that will last, not withering from fatigue, stretching out to receive and be a source of healing. Amen.